Today we're going to have a look at this little bird. It's the robin. They love to follow you around the garden when you're digging and you'll be able to hopefully learn all about his song and how to identify him. Years ago when they used to have wild boar in the woods they used to follow the wild boar around picking up the worms behind them. Don't know if you remember the little robin that was in our woods back in the snow. I'll show you the clip again and then you can remind yourself. He's always, always hanging around and always very friendly. Can you see my friendly little robin that comes to my woods to see me? Look, he's coming really far in. He's looking for the bird food I've popped out for him. You'll have to go outside and have a listen to the birds. I'll see if I can teach you how to listen out for a robin. They do you a lot of singing, especially in the evenings. So here is a little robin song. They're almost like very chatty. Both the male and the females sing a lot. Did you know that the young little robins don't have red tummies until they have lost their first lot of feathers, which is usually about when they're about two months old? The robin is related to the thrush family and also the blackbird and the nightingale. This is the robin's alarm call. This is the sound that they make when there's a cat around, the greatest predator of the little robin. Can you hear this little robin? It stops and then it starts again. They have a very high pitched little song compared with some of the other birds and they often pause in between each little verse. You'll have to go out in your garden, maybe just before dark. You should be able to hear the little robin singing then and its little pauses to help you identify it. This is a recording I took just before it got dark the other night. You might even hear an owl if you listen carefully. There are lots of other birds and they're all very busy singing. Have a listen and see if you can hear anything like this outside your house.